cheating. What? Our beloved Fury. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Unthinkable, right? Yeah. But let's dive into this whirlwind of conspiracy theories. Mike Tyson and Francis Ngannou dropped some major bombshells, potentially shaking up the perspective on the upcoming Fury vs Ngannou showdown. In a recent video about this fight, we pictured Fury as the ringmaster, while Usyk referred to Tyson as a clown. But what if we've all been fooled and Fury is more of a magician than anything else? Hmm. And by the way, do you know what Tyson recently said about Usyk instead? I thought he's a little shitbag. Cheated. Pussy, I know that too. He lost, man. You got beat by Dubois, man. So is Usyk not Fury the cheater? Okay, we are digressing. Let's get straight to the point of this video. That's when everything started. Journey back on the first accusation against our poor Fury. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you. It was Fury vs. Wild. The bronze bomber Deontay Wild, famous precisely for the bombs he throws, said Fury's bombs were weird. Fury. He said Fury cheated. You know what? I'm going to cheat again because I'm going to smash his face in. So, according to him, that's cheating because he's not supposed to lose. But unfortunately, I'm going to cheat again. I'm going to kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> and he did. Oh, there's a jab. There's a big jab. It was almost a. Did he win the first couple of rounds? A right hand down goes Wilder. Wilder's legs are not underneath him. Wilder is in huge trouble. No knockdown. Deontay made a claim of glove tampering by Fury. <laughs> yeah. Deontay said the Fury's gloves were fluffy and Tyson taking advantage of using his flicker jab. He said Fury kept his hand open in the glove, gaining extra reach without a proper fist. Well, hard to say if he opened his hand. What sure is that when Fury assumes his Philly shell-ish stance, the only jab he can throw is the flicker jab due to the lead elbow angle. So, it looks more like a technical choice than a sneaky trick. Swooping a bit into the future, we witness Derek Chisora mirroring Wilder's assertions on Fury cheating. Chisora acclaimed, in the first fight, in the first round, he cut his glove and he thumbed me in the eye. And now, as we teeter on the edge of the much-anticipated showdown between Fury and Ngannou, the shadow of these allegations looms larger than ever. Enter Mike Tyson, a true legend of the sport and Ngannou's head coach. A fighter famous for his integrity and fair play. Him, well, he has taken center stage, sounding the alarm bells about Fury's alleged cheating schemes, sending ripples of speculation throughout the boxing world. And Ngannou echoed him too. The entire community holds its collective breath, anxiously awaiting how this gripping saga will unravel. Our question is, really? Does Tyson Fury need to cheat to win a boxing match with Nganu? What do you think? Comment below, we want to hear your voice. As we eagerly anticipate the Fury vs Nganu showdown, one thing remains abundantly clear. The drama outside the ring is almost as entertaining as the action inside it. So until that epic night arrives, stay tuned, stay curious, and let's enjoy the thrill of the ultimate boxing conspiracy.